Hello and welcome back to Travel Trolls TV. Right, we are back from our Scotland trip. Two months, two fantastic months. But on that two months, made me realise, and I think Mazu as well, who's in the background, she's going to be my camera lady today. I think it made us realise there's things wrong with this van. There's things which need fixing. We want to get it tip top, and just how it was when it was delivered to us. We want it in perfect condition. So over the next 12 month, we've got till the end of October next year yeah. to have it perfect. That's that's his plan, okay? So what I'm gonna do today is go around the van and explain every single tiny little niggly job and thing which needs fixing or we'd like fixing or we'd like replacing. Jobs which I can do now jobs which we have to wait for until we can afford to have them done um, but I'm, it's like a diary if that makes sense so I can go back on this video and say right I did that I did that I did that oh I've still got to do that I'll do that tomorrow blah de blah so this is my motorhome diary of what needs doing around our home right to start with don't judge us don't judge us we've only been back a day or two and we haven't cleaned the van and it needs a really good clean inside and out um, right first thing brakes now we've had brake problems for years years um, the front brake pads were replaced by urban van life Neil that must be three years ago maybe four um, so they've been done but the back ones were never done and we know the back ones need doing plus the discs need doing so four new discs are needed um, four new pads get them done possibly calipers as well Mazzy says something about drums I don't even know what a drum is on a brick I don't know anything about things like that so that's one job brakes very important because when the brakes are finished completed the wheels are perfect we want to then get some of these all-weather all-terrain wheels which everyone has is starting to get now these wheels are too small for the van in my opinion so I want some bigger much better gripped ones so that's the plan for the wheels then another job which we have already got a quote for which I think was about 1200 to fix the big scrape on the top there which I did the day before we went to Spain uh, a, a tree scraped along the side um, so that needs doing along with this little scratch here which was when I scraped alongside a industrial bin outside a pub where it was a pub stop overnight and we only noticed this last year when we gave it the deepest clean we've ever given it something has happened to this van before and they haven't um, matched up the colours properly as you can see so the guy who is doing this is going to do all that um, sort this out so redo that door and he's going to blend that in better for us so that's another job on the horizon so another problem we had, the only problem we had really in Scotland was we were releasing smoke out of our exhaust and it is the DPF, um, the what do they call it, diesel something filter, don't know what the P Part stands for, particle filter, diesel like particle that. filter maybe and we know it's that because the DPF warning light came out, came on the last time it happened and it says keep moving so it was trying to do a DPF clean yeah hello hello <laughs> um, so we know that is the problem yes now causing that pro <clears throat> we've got, we have put some DPF cleaner red fluid, X, yeah, red, red, red X, X into the diesel now. It's a Red X DPF cleaner, so Which that's in there. Seems to have been helping coming home from Possibly. Scotland, but we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna take a while to see if it's really fixed. <laughs> so we don't know if what is causing that problem could mm. be to do with the glow plugs. Yeah. Because yeah. they've needed doing for a year. We've had the light on for a year, two years now. <laughs> 
So, yeah. uh, but the guy at the garage says that ain't a problem. It'll probably just need a little clean. Yeah. So we never got that sorted out. It's not a, f a light on the dashboard all the time. It just flashes when you turn the engine on. Yeah. So we need them cleaning. That's one of his next jobs. Or replacing or whatever. Or replacing. Yeah. So we'll get that booked in at the garage and get them cleaned. And hopefully that'll solve the DPF, DPF yeah. problem. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. A beautiful little girl called Mazzy. <laughs> Who said, oh, I've got a surprise for you. <clears throat> carpet tiles. <laughs> Loads of carpet tiles. Yes. And basically just handed them over to me and said, here, put me a carpet in the van. We had two sets for, of mats, proper Hyman mats for this van. Which cost a fortune. Which absolutely can cost a fortune. Unfortunately, we don't have them anymore. I was, they got too dirty. I was constantly taking them out, washing them sort of once a week, once every couple of weeks. But actually, I am now on the lookout for a new set. We will get some eventually, but yeah. we still wants carpeting. So we haven't got mats now throughout the van, but we I do like a bit of carpet. It makes it warmer, it makes it cosier. So I asked Dan to place these carpet tiles down, which did the job. It's just they've been down now two or three years. I'd like them replaced again. Well, the thing is, we, we used the Heimer ones, and then yeah. we put carpet tiles in, and I, I did a very good job. Yeah. I was really pleased yeah. with my job. Yeah, I was. It just yeah. looked like a fully carpeted out van. You could hardly yeah. see the lines in between the, the, the tiles. Yeah. Did a really good job, and then we realised, well, hang on, this is perfect. We don't need the Heimer ones. Yeah. And because they were so mucky, I said, look, if we do ever want any more, we'll just have to get new ones. Yeah. So. Regret. Totally. No, regret. I don't regret. I do. Because they were they were manky. Well, if we could. I tell you why I regret it because we then could have taken them to a carpet shop to have gotten them stenciled and replaced and binded at the edges, so we could have had gotten a new set made from those. Right, you've actually given me another idea now. Yeah. So, let me just finish this first. So throughout here was all carpeted, tiled. Up until this summer. Yeah, it started mm. to get a bit grotty and we have got some spare tiles. Not too many, but we've got yeah. some. So anyway, we decided to get rid of them in here and just keep them in the bedroom. Which is still looking pretty good, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but we'd just like to replace them, freshen them up again. So all that needs re-carpeting. Um, that won't yeah. take me too long, really. Now I've got them down... I can just go around them and... Use them as stencils. Yeah, use them as yeah. stencils. So that's one option, but I've just remembered something else. Yeah. Somebody, I think it was Lass. Yeah. And Mad Madeline. Yeah. They had... Uh, s how was it them? Somebody had theirs all carpeted out. They took it somewhere. Yeah. And it got carpeted out and it didn't cost a lot of money. So you could yeah. actually get a professional to do it. I think though on that note by doing so I had thought about that but I think ideally I'd like to go back to the mat style so you can pick the mats up again clean underneath clean your mats out outside if you need to give them a wash yes but you can carpet it and put mats on top of the carpet no I'd like the carpet as mats again we will have to discuss yeah. what we're going to do with that <laughs> but there is carpeting involved yeah the next job is outside. Now I've noticed this, Mazzy hadn't noticed, but I had. Rust. Rust. Now, if you look under the van here, uh, see how rusty this has become. And you can see this if you stood well back from the van, and I just think it looks awful. So, that needs redoing, somehow, and Oh, look how filthy it is. We need to give it a good clean. And at the front, I am hoping... Can you see? Where is it? Where? Oh, yeah. There's like a bar in there which is all rusty. And you can see it. In, you know, when the sun's shining on it, it looks awful. So I'm hoping, looking at this... These clips will come out, maybe this will remove and I can do that bar in there as well. It's not part of the radiator, it's 
part of the chassis or something I don't know so if anyone has idea an, an idea on how I can do that how do I prepare it do I like I don't know get wire brush and go over the rust to clean it and then put some kind of preventative on and then some kind of paint on to make it black again uh, do I spray it or do I paint it with a brush I don't know I have no idea so if anyone can give me advice on what products to use for that to make them spick and spam and if anyone's ever had this front off please let me know if I can just take that off because that's one job I think it'll just change the complete look of the van it'll make it look far better next silly little job this is one of Maz's there's a tiny little clip up here I don't even know if you can see it there it's broke I just need to replace that because there's a microphone here which did sit in there but it's uh, snapped off now I suggested to Mazzy we just push this back in because we don't use it but nope she wants a new clip she wants that doing so we'll do that but this must be something to do with connected to the sat nav system uh, for phone calls or something so this sat nav system the built in one never used it turned it on once when we first got the van and didn't know how to use it still don't know how to use no. it don't even use it for a radio we never listen to a no. radio or anything no and looking at I think you can get CDs in the top of there I've just noticed yeah I think now by now that will definitely need an up yes anyway yes I mean we've had the van six years so um, the yeah. the plan is to either start learning how to use that sat nav system yeah or get a, a better one because I'll get yeah. offered them all the time from companies yeah don't know as for the clip we do have a perfect clip for that actually but you just need to find it we had it i, I put it aside once so, I, so we just need to find that and it's just one job done then isn't it okay so new clip uh yeah. sat nav system to sort out uh i need a new one of these <laughs> uh, <laughs> i've gone like that for the last two weeks just kept taping it down because it kept falling off um, so I need to sort that out these I've realized are rubbish Mazzy I'm sorry they're not doing the job I know now were it JP who had these yeah, and we JP. copied him yeah. um, dry me pink they're a bit pinky Mazzy they need drying I think they do kind of help they just seem to stop the condensation where they are but it's not helping anywhere else I think they need drying anyway, so we'll try that. But they ain't doing the job. I'm also thinking about the reversing camera because I have a history of driving really well and things like popping out and it in van at back when I'm driving. Um, some people say it's my fault. I blame the benches and the trees and the people. So I'm wondering if to replace the reversing camera system. I want something where it beeps. You know what I mean? And one of them where you can see the lines. That's why I want this working as well. Anyway, that's another thing for another day. Again, we get offered them every week. What, what's this clip you wanting? Talking another of clip. clips, yeah. I have these clips here. Now, I have no idea even really what they are for two of these are broke that's broken i always have to just pop it on there that snapped and it just looks tatty so even though i don't know what they are i don't want to take them off because then you're just left with holes in the wood so if anyone can help to where I, i've can't, cannot find these anywhere if anyone knows where where can we get them these, they and look what like are the four this. yeah they look like this i think it's something to do with holding this mazzy no it's not it's not i'm it's sure not. it is no no there no you broke it well <laughs> it's not i've tried all that in the past where can i get another clip from please yeah some free. more clips yeah. and what do they do <laughs> what's point if we don't do anything moving on moving on moving on to screens screens now my big one does my head in up here we got a bit of water damage in his first year or something we had a 
flood up there actually, didn't we? Yeah, so this is all marked, but it's paper. So you can't do anything about it. I have tried cleaning it actually, yeah. but it's... we've tried bleach and everything. It will yeah. not it will not take this off. So it's just like um I don't know. Water damage basically. So I want a new one of them. But we've got a problem with some others, haven't we, Mazzy? Yeah, we've got a problem with this one. Because they are only cardboard. It's split a split bit of the there. top. So you've got to be careful because once that goes and things Repl replacing items on a motorhome is very expensive. We also have a neck curtain here that's kind of broke. Yeah. I have no idea really how to fix that. I daren't touch it. <laughs> is that all of them? Um, let me think. Your bedroom one could do with replacing for the fact that I think the, if you see what I mean, that's not springing up. I think the spring's gone on this mm, one. I might be able to fix that. I'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, so the spring has gone on that one, but every other one I think is fine, actually. Yeah. Okay, now... Oh, the spring has also gone on this one as well, which is a complete pain. Yeah. 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 So, they're very expensive, these, so that's going to yeah. be, you know, just to buy one of these. This is one massive problem with Hymer. If we want a new one of them, it's probably going to cost 100, 100 and odd pounds. Yeah, that's then just to just replace a little blind, yeah. So that's yeah. going to go on the list for jobs for next year, I think. Yeah. Um, but while we're here, we have got this. Now, this has happened since we got the van, because in our first six months, yeah. if there was anything wrong with it, we could tell them and they'd fix it. And that was one of the things which was wrong. And the guy actually... He got it back in. ...used to say to me, it's got to be me sitting there, grabbing up to there, which I can't even reach that, to get pull myself up, which is absolute rubbish. Well, I don't remember what, him that's saying that. Yeah, he did. And what's happened to that, as you can see, it's gone tight. It, it, it shrinks. Weather, yeah, it, shrinks it shrinks in the weather. When it's r red hot, you yeah. can pretty much get it back in. But that is annoying. So I I have to either replace all this trim, mm. or ideally we want a brand new skylight. Brand new one. As you can see, it's um. We've got a bit of damage there. Yeah, it's gone brittle from the weather. So. Yeah. Possibly a whole new skylight again. They're not watching. No, again, it's just for the yeah. future things we're looking at yeah. doing we, we'd kind of we kind of be nitpicky on what we're picking out here but it is stuff that eventually we want fixing isn't it yeah. don't get me wrong there's more important before that but yeah but you know this is his idea for next year we're going to yeah. be pumping his money into the van rather than probably yeah. holidays abroad yeah we're not <laughs> i mean you know this is our home at the end of the yeah. day and you've got to look after you the roof over your head yes a job. This is probably my first job out of all of them, Mazzy. Wait, I what? can do this today. Oh, that. Rip this off. Don't rip that. I'll That's coming off. Properly, yeah. A couple of them have come off. Yeah. We do want to find another one for next year, but we've got this in Spain. Yeah, if anyone can also give us a link. Yeah, where you can uh, buy these. We often get asked by loads of people to where we got this from. So by putting a link down in description, you won't be just helping us, you'll be helping others as well and be much appreciated. It has been a good one. Yeah. It has been, because that's, that's another problem with this. Our original fly screen, yeah. um, this broke within two months. It, the door slammed. Yes, in the wind, the door yeah. slammed it's and it a broke. Stupid design. So we took it back to the company and said that needs sorting out. So he put us a brand new one in and that snapped. The wind blew the door shut and broke it within another yeah. month, didn't it? Yeah. So that's been replaced twice and broke twice. It's useless. So I'm not even going to try and get a new the, one of them these on. These are good, but what, what they, is wrong with our design is when that door slams it will then it breaks out and once that's broke you can't fix them because it's all these yeah, stringy but we've had pulleys. two it's broke twice yeah. there's no point in us replacing that because it'll just happen no, again no, no, no. it's a bad design yeah uh, uh another thing a new mattress we want a new mattress for the bed desperately yeah um something a bit more comfier <laughs> bigger 
and comfier. Yeah. Definitely. It is the most uncomfortablest. All that is is foam, like sofa foam. I'd but like that's, a real uh, it's, uh, it's a very, you know, we have been offered them in the past and from viewers, haven't, haven't we? Oh, yeah. But it is a very strange shape because it's one mattress here and then it's another mattress for the head and then it's sewn together is the material. It's, it's awkward. It's, yeah, but it's not only just the shape, it's the size as well. It seems to be bigger than the average, I want to say. Yeah, so it might be we have to take the measurements and get that done. Yeah, you can get a custom fit match for that, but again... Yeah, but that's on his list as well. Yeah, as long as well as <laughs> as all time favorite the new oven, cooker, fridge and freezer, new freezer, new fridge. It's yeah. all like one system. Get all brand new, yeah, sparkly because all the trays in the fridge have yeah. broke. This is gone again. It doesn't stay up. Yeah. So when I lift it up to pull a tray out, it flaps down again now. That's as high as it will stay, and yeah. I'm, I'm having to do that. It did get fixed once, but it's, it's yeah. just gone again. Yeah, Neil did it. It was a hell of a job. I don't feel like it's worth fixing again. The fridge, all the magnets come off, look. Yeah. It's, it's just useless, so yeah. all that we do want replacing at some point. Well, it all works. That's the main thing. Yes. Another job I can do very easily and free is take all these reflectors off and give them a really good detail. That's been bugging me all year. So I'll go around and do all them. Apart from, not these two, because they're actually stuck on. We did have a hole behind there. Uh, I reversed it, sorry, a fence ran into me and went straight through the back there and punctured a little hole in. So that got sealed and then we put these reflectors on to cover it up, which have done a fantastic job. Um, so anyway, all them reflectors to do, and then once they're done, once this job's done, and this has been matched up, I'd like, I haven't spoke to Mazzy about this yet, but I'd like that ceramic coating. Um, when we were at a show once, there was a guy who did it, I think it were over a thousand pounds. But what they do is detail your van to make it look brand new. I think as new just, as it can look. I think that was just for the roof though. No. Oh, I no, don't it was know. the old van. Yeah. The old motor home, they will make it look immaculate. Yeah. As as good as it can possibly get. They have a team of about ten people and they just yeah. all pile into detailing it perfectly. And then they put a ceramic coat on to protect it. Ideally, which I always regret, is not actually doing it right at the beginning when we got the van. We didn't know about it then, though. Because over the last now, we've had the van six years, it has gotten wear and tear, like like um, stuff eating into the paint on the roof, whereas we could have protected that. But they'll be able to get most things out. Yeah, I don't. I don't There's only it. certain jobs I can do. Yeah. They're experts, that's the job. Yeah, yeah. So that's something to consider. That's a bit of a luxury, but I think that's something uh, yeah, we'll look so at it's, as it's well. It's not necessary, but something we'll do, yeah. All right, Mazzy, all right. I keep forgetting what things Mazzy wants. New vents. <laughs> um, new one of them. New one of them. Because they won't match otherwise. Yeah. Um, all the clips have gone on this. It's from the frame there's a frame inside so when you replace these you're not actually this. just getting this you're getting the inner frame as well yeah so we've looked into yeah. it and they were really expensive weren't they yeah yeah but if you're going to replace one the two definitely needs replacing yeah. don't you so i've been using tape for the last year it's done yeah. the job perfectly well but to make it all perfect we're going to yeah. get another one of them and a matching one at the top um Oh, you had another one, didn't you? Yeah. Wiper. Windscreen wiper. Um, I've never seen this before. I don't know if it was bird muck on here at some point. I don't know. But it's all deteriorated in this corner. So just from there to there, I don't know if I can just buy a new bit of that. You can see it better there. Do I need all new wipers or can I just buy that little bit? Um, if anyone knows where I can get that from, I would appreciate 
someone letting me know because it looks like I can just unclip that I don't know I've never tried um, yeah let us know on that one because that looks horrible table Mazzy yes that's one thing I'd like to replace back to its original believe it or not actually I've been keeping an eye out for the last um, sort of year you mean a proper Heimer one yeah right because Mazzy yeah. wanted to do a makeover on so the van I did a makeover and I wanted something with a bit of character mm -hmm. something with a bit of style and the other one was it's broken. done its job yeah you know the top it's been solid it's been good um, this keeps slipping down, that yeah, never that worked. Needs it, it needs fixing. But yeah, another table. No, I agree with that. Yeah, and try and just get that back to how it originally looked. I completely agree with that. Couple of Mazzy jobs. Oh, go on then. So we've already done this, I think twice now actually, since we've had the van. It's, uh, these Heimer kitchen uh, plug systems, they're plastic. They come all chrome and they look beautiful and it's just literally wear and tear all the time. And I really would like to replace that again, which means in the process, you get a whole new trap as well. And yes, but they're quite expensive, but and they're only plastic, so it happens again anyway, but what can you do? So I'd like that replaced. Can we do that? I don't know. And also, we've had to replace a couple of these taps because the motors on these actually go. Yeah, so, I oh, fixed it twice. Yeah, you did, but that just drives me mad. Yeah, but it's don't do it. Yeah, but it. What, you, do you know what's happened? He never had the tools to properly tighten it underneath. Yeah, well, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's just one more job for your list. Thank right, but you. But don't be wobbling it around like that, or it <laughs> will break again. Yeah, so. Okay. Two niggly little Mazzy jobs, please. A job for Dan. Why are you going into... Oh! Smash that bulb. We right. don't know what's wrong with this. It's a touch one. Brilliant. So we had Neil Urban Fan Life come and fit these in for us, which was perfect. And well, it was perfect, but yeah. that comes on constantly, all day, oh, every day. Yeah, all it takes is... Is this look? If you watch, oh, it's well, not it's doing. It's not going to do now. it now, is it? Well, it does. But it will. It'll just come on yeah. for no reason, and I don't even know if mine works. Yours don't work, and I have no idea why that don't work. So the uh, the electrics on these are just oh, it, this one drives us bonkers, doesn't it? Need to sort. Of, I, I'll smash it if I have to do anything. I'll just rip that off because it is doing me. It's editing. got to be a loose wire. I can only assume so. Yeah, that needs looking into. So that's all the jobs we need to do. The end. No. What do you mean no? What no. now? What now? Got one Get it more. out way. Go on. One more. This plug in the kitchen. I c it just drives me bonkers. So we actually had the lovely Neil again came and he, I can't remember if he replaced them or, but anyway, he turned this one to, for me on the side, which is perfect. Because if not, you cannot get two plugs in at the same time, because obviously your leads are coming down. But this one doesn't, you have to really sort of wiggle it around to get this one to work now. So it just needs maybe pulling apart and looking at. Right, so that yeah. needs sorting. But it still needs to stay on the side, so that's all good anyway. And I believe this one up here doesn't even work. No, that works. No, it doesn't. I think we had to take something off out of that to put on the other one, I think. No, I don't think If I remember that. rightly. Okay. I'm not yeah. making it up. Okay. So I don't think that works either, so I'll have a look at that. So yeah, I'll get my electrician kit out. Oh, God. And I'll sort that out. What now? I know that the list is never ending. So we've had quite a lot of problem with this drop down bed for the last uh, sort of, just only this year. But there's some side bits on there that we cannot get back up. And we've tried, me and you have right. literally just laid on our backs, pushing it up, haven't we? I'll sort it's that. It's something it's like so this, easily. but up there. And it's meant to clip on or something, we don't know. We cannot fix it for the life of us, but... 
it stops the mechanism of the bed and if you're on the bed it's an unpretty sight also and it gets caught in each side of the bed because the two are the same it gets caught in each side of the bed when you're dropping it up and down i'll sort it yep so that needs doing is that it is that all the jobs i'll have a think no that has to be it it has to be it mazzy so that's it for my list no, of jobs no one more one more one more one more i know i can think of one more now this one's been driving me bonkers for ages this ain't a big job either but if you come down here if you see down here this just pops in and out because oh. this needs to actually be screwed onto the thingy on the other side sell and a bit of sell a tip and that. it just drives me mad because every now and again you'll just come here and i'll be on the floor if you accidentally kick it and which means then you're not sort of directing out the um heat into the fan properly so i always just push it back in just to make it look neat and tidy is that it is that end at jobs I'll have a thing. No, that has to be end I'll at jobs. That has to be end at jobs. We might as well just buy a big tent. Just get a new Get fan. rid of this. Get a new fan. Get a tent. So that's it for his list of jobs what need doing <laughs> around the No 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 no. One more. Now this one has been driving us bonkers since the day we got the van. Now we've tried to fix this many a times. It's it's not fixing it as such. It's this cushion drives me bonkers so all this look at all these stuff <laughs> we've tried using to try and keep this up there and it just drives me bonkers so i need to redo that then everything on there needs redoing peeling off a bit of velcro yeah something any ideas anything i don't care it just it drives me bonkers look, and it just flaps like that so yeah, it's a niggly job, but I would like... Are you that. done? Yes. So that is definitely the end of all jobs ever on this van in the next 11 months. Um, whether they all get done or not, probably not. Some of the more expensive ones, probably not. But they're there. It's nice to have a list, isn't it? It's like, nice to have something to work off and aim towards so in future when Mazzy's sat down doing nothing i can say like Mazzy, that needs to come down if you're bored and she can be doing what are you what's what's wrong with your face do you mean when i'm just sitting down doing nothing so yeah it's a it's a list and it's there to be worked on for the next year and we're going to have a beautiful home not that we haven't already but we're going to have an even more beautiful home so yeah i just thought we'd do something a bit different i'm sure everybody and i mean everybody who has a motor on will have niggly things will have niggly whether things whether it's a draw catch or a little bit of carpet that keeps sticking up or it, it, every fan has them all we're doing is trying to point it out and get the job fixed basically and hopefully maybe you can sort of recommend stuff or direct us into the right route with links and stuff. Yeah, if you can tell us where yeah. we can get things from. Yeah. Um, and especially with this rust thing, what I need to do, what did you say I need to do? Well, to you'll me? need a primer and everything first. So yeah, you, whatever it's not that is. Just, <laughs> it's just not, tell me what to do. He thinks he can just take that bumper off, which isn't even an easy job, and just spray away. <laughs> no, I, I said to him, I think I need to scrape some mm. rust off of him. I don't know, do I? So anyway, we're just pointing out that even down to the niggly as these little bits that just drives us bonkers on a daily basis, really. Yes. Yeah. And while we're here talking about motorhomes, yeah. can I please, please stress to everybody, there's quite a lot of people yeah. doing videos at the moment. Yeah. Um, make sure you drain your, like I think Bob did one, make sure you drain your water tanks and everything for the winter. Mm. Um, one thing I want to put out there, make sure you're dehumidifying your van all through winter if if it means these things the wardrobe hangers are amazing they are brilliant we yeah. we get like a box of 10 or 20 of them and yeah. just put them everywhere now if you um if your fans just going into storage it should be fine no i'd still get them oh yeah no i'm saying i'd get them but it should be fine but it's when you're living in it and you've got the condensation so definitely get them if you're staying in your van over the winter absolutely because it can cause mold which causes damage to the van like the ceiling above our 
um, bed, and then that's a bigger job again. So, as yeah. I s- we have there's um, wardrobe hangers which are fantastic. You've yeah. got them little pot ones, yeah. which do exactly the same yeah. thing. We keep them in the boot and everywhere now. Everywhere, anything yeah. you can think of, uh, get. Yeah. And if you know if it's outside your house, get a dehumidifier. Yeah. Put your dehumidifier in it every couple of weeks. And we have this door open. <laughs> all day practically we're in and out of this all day and have it open so open your windows yeah letting some air through like my bedroom skylight now at the moment is like on a air vent just enough open but not enough for the rain to get in and everything but it's letting air through and keep your wardrobe doors open yeah which we don't but we should we should yeah anyway we're gonna leave this at that yeah hope it gives some other people some ideas um and hopefully as we say if you can give links and advice on what to do where to do it where to get it from or if you've got your own motorhome little niggly problems put it down in the comments and i'm sure somebody might be able to answer and help you out whether it be us or somebody else that might have a solution for you as well so put your little problems down in the comments as well right we're going to leave it there yeah so that is our motorhome (laughs) problems diary for me to look back on i'll watch this in 12 months time and say might as well put that video on again mazza because i haven't done any of it yeah it'll be next year won't it see you all later take care bye see you tomorrow bye (laughs)